up welcome back to my channel welcome to today's vlog I actually wasn't gonna vlog today because I'm in such a like bad mood I guess I'm just feeling like in a rut and unproductive but I actually thought it'd be kind of important for me to vlog this since I feel like I always vlog my productive days and when I'm feeling good and I thought it would be really important to vlog and show you guys that I'm not always on my a-game I'm not always productive and I'm not always feeling great I'm actually just in a really big rut today and I figured I'd tell you guys some of the things I do to help me kind of get over that. So, I want to start this vlog off by saying that I'm in no means, way, shape, or form trying to like brag about where I am on YouTube or anything. But I know that other people feel the same as me, so I feel like it's important to voice this, even though I might get some backlash. But I posted a video today that I was really excited about, and... I don't really ever try and get caught up in the analytics of it. Like, to me, it really doesn't matter. Like, I just really love that you guys love my videos. But the video did a lot worse than usual. Like, not even just, like, a little. Like, a lot worse. Like, substantially worse. There's, like, barely any comments on it. And honestly, I'd be lying if I said it didn't get to me because I just love when you guys enjoy my videos. And it just makes me think that, like, you guys just didn't enjoy that vlog, which is totally okay. It happens. But it obviously is a bit bumming because I feel like I was really excited about it. And, you know... I also did try uploading at a different time, like in the afternoon versus the morning, so I think that might have to do with it as well, but that's not like the whole reason I'm in a rut or anything. I've just had a day. It's been super rainy the last few days here in Ottawa, and I haven't even changed out of my like sweats and my baggy t-shirt. Like I'm just feeling so blood and productive. I had a really bad day with work, and I just feel so meh. So I'm going to take you guys through a little evening, show you guys what I do to get out of a rut, and when I'm feeling unproductive and like kind of like blah, and... Yeah, just to show you guys, life is not always sunshine and rainbows. I'm not always productive. I have these days too, and we're going to overcome. Also, I just want to say that I'm not really feeling into a rut with Vlogtober, but I just feel like my vlogs are getting repetitive. So let me know down below if they are or they aren't. You can be honest with me. I, I don't. But I just feel like I'm kind of in a rut with Vlogtober. Like, it's almost done, and I'm sad, but in a way, I'm like, okay, then I have a bit of time to come up with new content for the holidays, I guess. So I'm just kind of feeling like a bit in a rut with Vlogtober. Like it's been so much fun and I'm so thankful for all the new following they've gotten and we hit 15K and it's crazy, but I just think my vlogs are getting really repetitive and it makes indirectly my vlog, me feeling my me feeling that my vlogs are repetitive puts me kind of in a rut if that makes sense. So that's that. But I just put on some chicken for dinner. We had some chicken thighs in the freezer and I decided to whip up a little chicken for dinner. Matt's at work, um, but I'm really excited. Um, I've been eating like garbage lately. The gyms are closed again. Like I'm just, I'm a hot mess today. But sometimes I like to experiment with like my chicken. So I'll show you guys what I did. Putting some chicken in the slow cooker. I made this recipe up. It's just, what did I put in it? Honey, garlic, a lot of garlic, barbecue sauce, ketchup, and some oregano. I don't know. I just like to be creative with my recipes also. The cookies are almost gone already. So that, um, and then I'm just cooking that on high for a few hours. But the first thing I'm going to do is just like get ready and do my hair. My hair typically stays in a little bun like four out of five days a week when I'm working from home. So I'm going to straighten my hair, put a bit of makeup on. I think I might go to like Whole Foods or somewhere. Somewhere that just really brings me joy so I can just get out of the house. One of the big things too for me is like I've been sitting on the couch since 6 a.m. working and it's four. So I just need to get up, stretch my legs. It's raining. So typically I would take Stella for a big walk, but she actually hates the rain um, and refuses to walk on rainy days. So that's not happening, but I think I'm just going to go to like Whole Foods or something or I don't really know. We'll figure it out. But first step is to getting ready and getting out of my pajamas after 14 hours. Alrighty guys, I just got dressed. I put a little makeup on. I'm already feeling a lot better. Stella's being a crackhead right now, if you can yeah, you can hear that. Um, I'm not putting any face makeup on just because a lot of my acne is drying out, so I'm just trying to like let it. I got on my sweatpants, so that's a plus. I just put on this um, oversized plaid shirt you guys know I love from Aerie, and then just some like Lulu lines, and we're chilling. And typically when I'm feeling like in a rut, and like unproductive, I try and think of little things that I can do so that I feel productive, if that makes sense. Like, I don't need to go crazy and clean the house, but it's nice to just like think of little things that I can do. So this is my office right now. It is, Mia, Mia, I'm trying to film. Um, my office is just like a disaster. I have like brand stuff everywhere, so I really wanna clean this up. Um, and then I just wanna like do little things that make me feel accomplished at them. I think this could look really, really good above my desk. But anyways, we're gonna like clean everything up a little bit, get organized, that'll definitely make us feel a lot better about ourselves, and then go from there. See 
guys know how much I love Frozen, and I've been have I've had this print in our closet since we went to Disney in January, and I'm gonna put it up today finally. So I'm gonna go to Walmart and just like grab a frame for this really really quick. But today's the day. I'm getting it done because I really want to do it. So it needs to be. So I might bring it with me. But yeah, we're gonna go get a frame, and then we're gonna put it up, and I'm really excited. Alrighty guys, I just got to. Alrighty guys, I just got to Walmart. I'm gonna go in and pick up a frame for my photo. I literally have it with me so i can bring it in because i actually don't know what size this is like i just got it from the arts festival um i got it from farts at disney which is the festival of the arts so i'm gonna go inside and get that and then i think i'm gonna stop off and get a bottle of wine at the lcbo because i'm not trying to like condone um drowning your sorrows in alcohol but it's been a long week and it's only wednesday and i think i deserve a glass of wine and i don't have any so we're gonna go and get one or maybe some ciders or something um and yeah so let's go inside get a frame for my photo some more command strips and i'll chat with you guys after i'm already feeling better now that i'm out of the house and like i got ready you know it's already it's already a bit better of a day guys so i'm home now show you guys the alcohol that we got do you guys know i love to try new things so we typically when i go i get like one new thing of everything and i had air miles to use which was awesome i think i got like 20 dollars off um but i got a new wine i like to get new pinot grigios every time i go i'm not like picky an ontario pinot grigio is pretty dry i'm excited i thought it was cute with the little like bees um okay where do we even start okay we all know that i love brickworks so much but they came out with a lemonade rattler and fun fact i'm actually a huge beer person i love beer so much craft beer any beer you name it um but i'm really excited to try these so brickworks are great they're toronto based so i got two lemonade ones because i figured matt would probably like that then i got this good sunday grapefruit gin soda i have no idea if i'm gonna like this but i just like the packaging so we'll see um this is aquarel vodka soda in berry pomoda i don't know once again the packaging was nice give it a go guys i'm so excited okay i have no idea if i'm gonna like a pumpkin ale but obviously the queen of fall had to so i got two different ones i got the great lakes brewer brewery pumpkin ale like can we just talk about how freaking cute this is and then i got this one which is actually a local auto one um big rig is a local auto one so i got this tales from the patch pumpkin porter i'm really excited maybe i'll have one tonight then i got this west avenue apple and sour cherry cider which will be so good because i love anything cherry and then um i love sours so i just got this cowbell raspberry moon i've actually had this it's really good and these ones i've already had before i think i showed this in my last little booze haul but Duntrin, duntroon cider house um their rhubarb infused cider is super good and they're like zero sugar they're really really nice and light and then just the brickworks semi-sweet ciders so that's my little um alcohol haul hope you guys enjoyed um yeah that's that and then i also just picked up some command strips so we can put up my painting two frames at the dollar store because we love the dollar store so we're gonna see which one fits better and we'll do that after dinner chicken looks so good you guys i'm so excited also chicken thighs over chicken breast any day anyways um i made myself a giant caesar salad just because I, I just need some greens in my life right now and we're gonna taste test this pumpkin beer and i'm really excited so if you don't like beer you probably won't like pumpkin beer but well, that's like barely pumpkin-y like if you serve that to me i would not be able to guess there was pumpkin in that does it say Okay, it's definitely got hop in it definitely it's called a porter which i've never had a porter beer it says strong beer brewed with pumpkin it kind of honestly tastes like an ipa I sit on the couch eat my chicken probably watch some youtube videos and then we're gonna go hang out my picture and i need, I need that i'm in better spirits now let's see olaf is not for eating olaf is for mommy's desk no be nice to olaf Anyways, um, I think I'm gonna go with like a uh, frozen theme for my desk this winter. So we're getting a head start on the holidays. Stella thinks that Olaf is for her and he is not. He is mommy's toy. But I got two frames. I just don't know which one. Um, I mean, they're from the dollar store, so that's great. But I got this one and then I got this one. So I'm just gonna see which one it fits in better. <laughs> really wants Olaf, but yeah. So I'm gonna see which one fits better and then we'll put it up and I'm so excited.
I just took away the um the pumpkins and stuff for a sec so I could like show you guys the effect of the room but I moved my desk over into the corner a bit more just because it was kind of awkwardly in the middle and then I moved the basket over there and then I have my little frozen sign which I love I mean you can honestly tell it's like a dollar store frame but I mean I don't really care it was four dollars I think it's cute I have my little Olaf I think I need to spend now just to you know have two of them and yeah I just love having like little touches of Disney in our home so that's my little update I'm really glad of how that work came out and I'm in such a better mood now